people, right now we just left Tropea, South Italy, and we are on our way to one of Italy's oldest national parks. After van living mostly in cities for the past few weeks, I'm craving some quiet time in nature. I'm traveling with my boyfriend and we are excited! I hope you are too, because I'm taking you along with us. Now, let's go! We're at Sila National Park here in Calabria and we just, we were in Tropea for a couple of days. Did some swimming at the beach, snorkeling. It was really fun and relaxing. Didn't film that much to be honest. Then we drove about three hours to Sila National Park where we are right now. We parked over there a couple of hours ago. It's, oh my God, it's so cute. Anyway, we are here in the mountains and I have to say the temperature is much nicer. <sighs> not as hot you know it's 22 degrees right now Celsius and it's so quiet and peaceful over here I love it we're gonna find a place to camp tonight somewhere so we're just doing a little hike right now and see if we can find a nice place and then we can drive to that place and spend the night over there it's a nice spot over there <laughs> but I don't think those people are staying there for the night actually I'm not sure if we're allowed to spend the night over here it's just police patrolling. In general, it's legal to park in random places and just spend the night there. It would be the perfect spot, I think. Look, she even like a campfire. And this would be the view. Yeah, let's stay here. It's like the perfect spot. We'll figure it out. Do you hear that? I'm not sure why I'm here. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing, people. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's get the van and then park over there. do the walk right now the people that parked here were just some people that were taking photographs so they're doing a little photo shoot and we just parked the car here and if they will leave tonight we'll park it slightly different if we want to but we're just gonna go for a hike right now and I'm taking you along with us yeah and uh, I'm absolutely looking forward to getting all the flies and mosquitoes out of our van while we're gonna sleep absolutely looking forward to it <laughs> my boy here always so positive you know <laughs> Oh, don't forget the mosquito thingy we have. Yeah, yeah, the thing that we're not sure of if it actually works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to use that. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you later what it is. Okay. Okay, let's go. for guys beautiful nature just a little bit of silence just enjoying the view you know what mother earth gave us oh, it's so freaking gorgeous here i wish you could have been there it's gorgeous Woo! i'm so happy is it maybe because i never knew quite where Can you hear those dogs? Are, are there rules? No, I don't think so. Yeah, because I read that there are rules here in this area. Stop. At first I was like, ooh, I also want to be in a tent and just stay on this place. It but looks like they're taking away the tent. Or is that just me? Hmm. Maybe they heard the dogs and they were like, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. Last night it was really cold. Look at this, it's 14 degrees. Especially since we came from the sea, which was really hot. Look, I'm wearing a sweater, but it's so nice here. Oh, there are cows now. Mm. Stay tonight, guys. We need to make the bed, freshen up a little bit, make some breakfast, and then see what we're gonna do today. But we're gonna do some hiking. There's a museum over there, just like in a 10 minute walking distance. So, yeah, make the bed, change clothes, freshen up, the other way around, and make breakfast. like 27 today it's time for some coffee Yuri's making coffee and I'm doing my makeup So the place we stayed the night at is part of Sila National Park in Southern Italy. Although established about 20 to 25 years ago, it is one of the oldest parks in the entire Italy. As breakfast, Yuri prepared some coffee, toast, and scrambled eggs. Good, baby. Yeah, the table up. The table we sat at is fixed by the lagoon table mount. This thing is so easy to assemble and so practical, guys. And by swiveling the passenger seat around, we turn this space into a more open area. Buon appetito! I really enjoyed spending the night here as it was so beautiful and peaceful. We were all alone, away from the city and other crowded areas. I really felt lucky finding this place. And as a bonus, we had breakfast with an amazing view over Lake Tetita. Thank you for watching today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to track our travel adventures and I see you in the next video, bye bye!